everybody and welcome back. Today I'm going to show you what I got at the thrift store and I'm super duper excited on what I got. First thing I got was this. All right, so I bet you're wondering what this is. It is a mixer cover and I'm hoping that it will fit my bread machine. If not, I'll use it for my mixer. And I paid one dollar for it. Isn't that cute? It is the cows and the barn. And I think it's perfect. Here is what else I got. Now I spent a little much for this, $2.50. But look, isn't that neat? So it's, I've never seen anything like this. Have you ever seen anything like it? Oh, I love them. I, I will keep looking out for these. That is neat. And then, I am super duper excited about this because for $1.50, I got all of these wax colors. You guys know a couple weeks ago, I've been talking about this. I cannot believe this. All of these wax colors for $1.50. And burgundy is my favorite, and that was in the back. Wow, that was a good, good deal. I'm really happy about that. And then for $0.50, cents, I got the soap making book. Isn't that neat? So we're going to be doing more soaps because I have all of my supplies yet from the other year. All right, so this next book I got, I want to see if any of you guys remember her. Do you guys remember Rebecca's Gardens? Now I am a representative of Renee. Now Renee has garden seeds. That's a family owned business for many years. And that is my favorite company because I love her seeds. But this, you remember her, Rebecca? I got to research her and see if I can find some old videos. Back when I was first married and I was only 18 years old on PBS, they had her channel and I loved it. I loved her. Oh, I just loved it. It was way back in the eighties. So Rebecca's gardens. I don't know if she's still doing it or not. So we'll have to see. And then I got another funnel for 50 cents because I always buy these when I can find them because I use them from all kinds of projects. So I have them separated. So the ones that are not food items I don't use and the food item ones I use separate. So I'm always glad for that. Okay, and don't laugh at me. I needed toothpaste and I'm really not going away much these days. So it was 50 cents. Yes, I know it was a sample and that's probably kind of high for a sample, but I figured I was there at the thrift store. I might as well pick it up because I didn't want to run to any other stores just for toothpaste. So I got that. And then I thought these were really cute for 25 cents each. They are Christmas E type, but not necessarily. And I got all of these and I'm going to be making bull covers with them. Oh, sh I can't tell you because what I'm going to be making is something really super duper exciting. And in fact, we'll make it right after this video. So why don't we do that? We're going to make something neat, kind of like bowl covers, but it's a little different. We're going to do that right after this video. And I'll show you that here in a moment. Okay. And then I got these and I don't know what they are. <laughs> I know that's bad, but I don't know what they are, but we thought they're labels. And I don't know, but what did I pay for them? 40 cents each. I thought they were like a label or like sticker labels. I don't, I still don't know what they are. Oh my word, I don't know what they are. I, I don't know what it is. Oh, people, I don't think it is anything. <gasps> I don't know what it is. Okay. Oh, <laughs> that was so dumb, Tessie. <laughs> okay, it's for scrapbook paper. Oh my word, I love them. But I'm gonna use them on a jar. Oh, yes. I'm going to use them to decorate a jar. Oh, I know exactly what I'm going to use them for. Guys, stop laughing at me. I know you're laughing at me. Now that was Duflick. You can call me Duflick on that one because that was dumb. Oh, they are so neat. I'm going to make something with them like today yet. Oh, I love them. 
Last but not least, I spend, I don't know what I spend. I, I don't know. I think I spend like $15 because for $5, I got this crock pot. And it was only $5. Now, it is a crack in the lid, but that's okay. It's not like a whole crack. And it was for $5. And it says it works. I love it. So I needed another crock pot because I only have the one and this way I can make two dishes at one time. So if I want to make a meat and I want to make a vegetable, I have two crock pots. Well, there you everyone is my thrifty Thursday. Now we're going to go into the kitchen and we're going to make something with all of these napkins. How many did I get? I got three of them. So I spent 75 cents and I'll show you what we're going to make. So follow me. Unfortunately, this part of the video, I lost the original content. I did all the filming and I realized that it wasn't working properly. So now I have to kind of tell you what I did. Everybody was telling me about the pine rosin to use to make your bowl covers. So I bought this a few months ago and I was waiting to have the perfect napkins to try to make it. So this is supposed to last a lot longer. So I went ahead and I made all of these bowl covers using this. It turned out perfect. So you just take your hands. It's the same as the beeswax. Would I buy this again? No, I do not like the smell of it when it was being melted. I think the beeswax plain is a lot better. One week I went to the thrift store twice. It was a special time because we were going near by it and I thought we would just stop in and see if there's something different. So I'm adding this bonus Thrifty Thursday in today's video. For one dollar I got this. Now I love it, but on the bottom, see if I can get it all on the camera. It has the birds. Isn't that neat? So for $1, I got this. It is old and is vintage. Most of the things that you're gonna see here, well, a lot of them are vintage. For 50 cents, I got these dishcloths. They were 50 cents, or towels, excuse me. These were towels. I got this for 50 cents, towels. Brown is my color. And more towels for 50 cents. And then a couple of you make these and I love them. But look at this. Somebody donated all of these and they were 50 cents each. They're hot pads and they work amazing. I always had the Dollar Tree hot pads and they really don't work that good. But these are amazing and my colors. 50 cents each. All right, some more vintage towels for 50 cents each. Look at that. 1958. Oh, it's amazing. For 50 cents and there's no holes in it. Then I got this one for 50 cents. Looks like it's from the 80s. Love it. I paid a dollar for this one, but it's so spring-like. It looks just like spring. Really happy about that. And then for a quarter each, I got these candles. They smell like orange. It smells like orange blossom. It doesn't have a fall scent. Hmm. You know, back in the 50s, they had a lot of bright orange things like tangerine. So I'm going to be making some candles with that for $1 from Beth Moore. It is a devotional. Now I did order two books for devotions, but this one here is one you can write in. And I like, I liked the way it looked and it was only $1. So I'm really into devotions and reading my Bible every single morning and reading my Bible more. And you will be seeing maybe in my heart to hearts coming up all the things that the Lord is working in my life.
Well, there you go, everyone. It is my Thrifty Thursday, and it is the beginning of a new year. It's the beginning of a whole new promises and whole new life. close to an international airport but you hardly ever hear the airplanes except for when they do their touch and go and that is just they do different um, exercises and so there you go and maybe that should be my word for this year flying high <laughs> maybe that should be reach for the sky reach for the stars reach for the heavens that is going to be my new year's resolution reach for it <laughs> I believe in everything in life it happens for a reason and the fact that we seen that big plane today there's a reason so maybe you can tell me what do you think this symbol in the sky means <laughs> reach for it I guess I'm gonna reach high but you know what always reach high but you keep your feet planted firmly on the ground and that will keep you grounded hey it's a blast from the past Come on, let's check out some of these videos from 2017 and let's get Tessie's videos circulated again.